In this video, we will talk about the compensatory mechanisms during heart failure. As we all know, the initial change in heart failure is a reduction in cardiac output. Because of reduced cardiac output, the sympathetic nervous system gets stimulated, and that is the earliest change. Next, the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system is activated. Increased sympathetic discharge increases the preload, which is the volume of blood stretching the heart at the end of diastole, by increasing venous return. Increased preload enhances systolic function by stretching the heart muscle fibers, leading to a stronger contraction and higher stroke volume through the Frank Starling mechanism. Also enhanced sympathetic discharge increases heart rate and the force of myocardial contraction. So, an increase in preload, heart rate, and cardiac contraction increase cardiac output, which compensates for the decrease in cardiac performance. In response to reduced blood flow, the renin angiotensin aldosterone system is activated, and the kidney releases renin, which increases aldosterone production. Aldosterone causes salt and water retention by its action on the kidney to retain sodium in exchange for potassium. This leads to an increase in blood volume and eventually preload. Together, all this increases cardiac output, which compensates for the decrease in cardiac performance. While the activation of the sympathetic nervous system and the RAS are initially beneficial, they can worsen heart failure over time because increased catecholamine release by the sympathetic nervous system activates alpha-1 receptors and increased angiotensin-2 levels by the RAS activates AT1 receptors, leading to increased vascular tone. Vasoconstriction caused by both the sympathetic nervous system and RAS narrows blood vessels and increases afterload, the resistance the heart muscle must overcome to eject the blood. This further strains the heart, making it harder to pump effectively and worsen heart function. Cardiac remodeling initially serves as a compensatory mechanism to maintain heart function in response to heart failure. However, chronic exposure to elevated levels of catecholamine, angiotensin II, and aldosterone contributes to pathological remodeling. Over time, these hormones promote fibrosis, abnormal growth, and stiffness of the heart, thus impairing cardiac performance, leading to a progressive decline in heart function. This slide summarizes the compensatory mechanisms that occur in the heart failure and how these responses, while initially beneficial, can become harmful over time, contributing to the progression and worsening of heart failure. Thanks for watching.